Hello, everybody. Hey, can you ask me questions? I don't, I don't... So, we're here today. Go ahead, sorry. We've, we've got David Wise hopped in his car, travelling between work to say hello to us. So, hello, David. Hello. Hello, everybody. Yes. Well, we've been trying to find time, and this is the time that we're finding, so hello. <laughs> yeah, in your car, you've got a nice blue sky there. They can't see it, but... You've got a nice blue sky there in your sunroof. Sorry about that, but we're on the phone. But we're, no. we're recording now, so what's been happening to you then? Been very busy then. Yeah, I've been getting a lot of uh, big, uh, big interviews. Um, you know, you know, I did Infowars and Tinfoil Hat. Those, uh, they, you know, those are the audiences I like talking to. People that think flat Earth is stupid. It, it's, um, you know, that's the thing that I like to do, so I got a big interview coming up this Saturday, November 2nd, uh, at 9 p.m. New York time, and uh, I'm asking all the Flat Earthers that are available to jump in the chat and help out all of the people that are flipping out because their ball is being taken away from them. It is a bit of a shock, though, isn't it? I mean, it was a shock to us as well when we realized but there's enough information out now that these people could think, isn't there? The, the, yeah, the problem is, Karen, is that uh, there's so much information out there now, but to somebody that's new, uh, they can't find it. They don't know where to go. You know, you Google Flat Earth, and uh, you'll, it's worse than the Flat Earth Society now with all of the nonsense that they have out there. That's why I have my app, um, which if anyone that gets the app gets fed all of the good videos. They have the archives, they have the frequently asked questions, and of course they have the app itself to show them a possible model on how it works. You're talking about your clock app, aren't you? Yeah, it's the Flat Earth Sun, Moon, and Zodiac Clock app. Hey, listen, and, uh, I got sent that the other day. Earth, I got sent that the other day, so there you yeah. go. Someone said, oh, have you seen this? <laughs> so there you go, you're at. Yeah, so the thing is, when you're talking flat earth to somebody and they're listening, you know, and you're explaining the seasons and the, you know, how the sun sets and how the sun circles and how east and west are different than north and south, their, their heads, they're trying to put a picture in their head, but they, all they have is globes in their head. So you break out the app at that point and you show them, you turn on the time lapse, you show them how the seasons change, and the same thing happens every time. They go, oh, now I see it. And uh, then they get it. And then uh, the challenge I give them, and then you guys can do the same, is say, here, it's interesting, get the app, watch the daily video. Every day you get a new video served to the app, you get a little notification that the video is up. And uh, you just watch that video every day for two weeks, and there's no way you believe you live on a spinning ball. Um, it's usually less than two weeks. Usually, in the first day, they go, I didn't feel like waiting. I dove into the archives, and I watched everything in, in two days. And, uh, oh my God, the earth is flat. Yeah, I um, today, I was going to pay a bill. We have this horrible thing here called a council tax, and they're also digging up our roads, and I'm, uh, I'm muttering under my breath. And this person thought I was talking to them, but I wasn't, but I flat smacked him today. <laughs> well, flat smacked, I was flat smacked him in the street. You broke up a little bit, say that again. I was just saying, I was going to pay a bill, and I was moaning, and this person was sort of walking with me, but they weren't with me, but they thought I was talking to them, and they looked at me, and I said, look, I'm really sorry, and I started moaning about what the council were doing. And then I flat smacked him. All right, that's always always be flat smacking. That's what I say. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people know there are certain things wrong, but they don't realise that it's everything is wrong, not just what they're looking at. But I suppose it's hard to comprehend that our government would do this to us. Yeah, you know what, Karen? Know what the, what's amazing is, you know, the the people that think flat Earth is stupid. One, they have no idea what the flat earth model is. They have a complete misconception. And the other thing is, they know even less about the globe earth. You ask them how fast it's spinning, how fast it's orbiting, how fast it's flying through space, allegedly. What the curvature calculator is, the inverse square law of light. You ask them any of that, and they look at you like, what are you talking about? My brain doesn't work like that. 
And, you know, it, it, all you have to do, the way to become a flat earther, as you know, is you don't try to learn about the flat earth, you try to figure out the ball, and that just sends you right over to the flat earth. It's when you try to understand the helio-nonsensical model that you ended up becoming a flat earther. It is quite incredible that he trusted everything, and we don't know that maths, like you're saying. There's math curvature, there's like the spinning three different directions, there's all this, and people don't know. They have, they have no idea, and uh, they're brainwashed. We, when I say they, it was all of us, were brainwashed into uh, not be willing to look because it's too much of a foundational shakeup. You know, it's from when you were, you know, a tiny little child that they put all of this programming in there, and to pull it out is, uh, it seems to be quite upsetting, but in the end, it's super liberating. It is, but I think a lot of us are getting frustrated because there's nowhere to go with it, is there? There's nowhere to take it, there's no one no. to... There's nowhere to go. I, I disagree, 100%. You? I think that Flat Earth is, ex is exploding exponentially. Um, you know, it, it, South America is on fire. It was just on uh, main, on a late night uh, TV, like you know, the Tonight Show down there. Millions and millions and millions of people, they had four Flat Earthers on um, for like an hour. And asking questions and listening to answers, and it, they weren't mocking at all. It was it was unbelievable. You know, their conference sold out in seconds down there, faster than a fish concert. I don't concert. mean that. I don't and, mean the uh, people. The people. The people are waking up, but we've got nowhere to go and report this or talk. No government, no politics. Uh, I, I know that's part of the globe world, but we've got nowhere to go to report this. Like, excuse me, we should be able to write to somebody and say, hey, excuse me, this is all wrong. No, every day no, it just no, happens that, that, and the globe keeps going in the globe world. I, I, uh, I, I hear what you're saying, but that's changing. You know, the conference that's happening in, in, uh, in Dallas uh, in, in, a, in two weeks is um, the ABC is going to do a full piece on Flat Earth. Now, who knows if they're going to try to spin it, make fun of it, but we're going to really hold their feet to the fire with the information that we give them. And, uh, and you know, I think that there's going to be some massive publication, you know, um, productions of this stuff. Alex Jones just did a piece on it. Now, a lot of people have issues. Yeah, so, you know, so people, a lot of people hate Alex Jones. It doesn't matter. We reached his audience. And <clears throat> Alex Jones and his producers are flipping out. They're producing flat earth stuff right now. So, um, you know, there's, there's countless people, <clears throat> excuse me, being brought to flat earth. Yeah, but you, you just said what they started to do. Oh, and Benjamin, you know, he brought his entire audience over to Flat Earth. You can't find it on YouTube anymore. It, it, unless it, you know the channel. It's going mainstream. Right, that's what... Right, that's why we're taken to the streets, the Globe Eye Tour. You know, there, there's all sorts of stuff going on. And we're really getting the app out there because people are sharing the app. And the app um, brings you to all of the, the videos. Like, if a new video comes up today, it's added to the app immediately. So if you just use the app as a resource, it'll bring you to all of the information that you need. Um, can you just explain you know, your app in case, in case, in case, case people don't know me, it? Uh, um, can you, can you, yeah, what, what's your app in case so people don't know it? Yeah, well, it, it, it's called the Flat Earth. Sun, Moon, and Zodiac Clock app. It's available on the Google Play Store and the Apple Store. Um, you download it, and it shows you. Uh, it, um, it has the AE map on it. Now, we all know that the AE map is not perfect. However, it's a clock. And on the clock, the, the sun is pinned to the hour hand. And at any time of day, when you look at it, you know, the sun's over Perth, Australia right now. Let me call my friend PK in Australia and ask him what time it is. And he'll say, it's noon. And that's because the sun is over his head. Um, so there is a lot of truth into the AE map. It shows how the sun migrates in between the two tropics of Cancer and Capricorn and creates the seasons. It has the zodiac. It shows how the zodiac wheel in the sky outlaps the sun once a year and the sun outlaps the moon every 28 days or so. Um, it's it's going to, I'm adding... Uh, the weather is going to have wind. It's going to show you how the winds circle the Earth in real time, uh, you know, precipitation and uh, temperature. Um, it does so much 
and helping people understand what the flat earth is. More importantly, it helps people show other people what the flat earth is. And then the biggest feature is <clears throat> every single day, I upload in real time the latest best video um, that people are you know, needing to know the information on. So in the corner of the app is the, the featured video of the day. Um, if you have the app, you get a little notification on your phone that hip, new videos up. Paul on the plane today, uh, his Amsterdam conference uh, is the one that's on today. And then, uh, you know, tomorrow will be something else. I do longer ones on the weekend, shorter ones during the week. And I challenge people. I did it when I was on the SGD report, when I was on Alex Jones. I challenged people. I said, do you think Flat Earth is stupid? Fine. I did too. Get the app. Watch the video each day. And... Um, there's no way that you'll last two weeks without becoming a flat earther, and so far, uh, it's worked every single time. So, you know, there, there's people like, uh, you know, the great Nathan Oakley, who says he doesn't buy into any model. Well, uh, I, that's where we disagree. I think that the, it's clear that the sun circles the earth, um, and it, there's a preponderance of evidence that it's something similar to the AE map. Now, it doesn't matter that we have different opinions. We both know that the Earth is a spinning ball, and uh, the app really helps people see um, a solid possibility of how it works. And you can make up your mind from there, but it, it serves people relevant information on a daily basis, um, and it's really fun to use, and it looks great of that. Hey, so you, you think, then, this awakening is on the upbeat, then? It actually is more and more people... I don't, I, I know it's on the upbeat, there is, uh, and I can tell you, because I can see the number of people that are using the app, it's growing exponentially. Um, you know, just look at us uh, in uh, South America, Brazil, Brazil, there's 11, they took a survey, and that equates to 11 million people uh, believing the Earth is flat. 11 million in Brazil, okay? We are at the tipping point. We're at the tipping point. And uh, it's getting out. There's pilots getting together that know the Earth is flat, and uh, you know, hopefully they form some sort of flat Earth underground union because they can't come out. Because if they this do come exciting. out, this sounds exciting. This sounds so exciting. Yeah, it, if the pilots do come out, they get grounded, and we've seen that happen with a pilot that came out. Um, so they're going to get together, and then what happens if half the pilots in the world all of a sudden say, "Hey, Europe is flat"? What are they going to ground all the pilots? No, it's not going to happen. Um, there's there's so many people, you know, Owen Benjamin, he's not a, he's not a huge person, but he's got a hell of a following. All of his listeners are coming over and they know the earth is flat. Um, now we got InfoWars, their audience, when I was on InfoWars, it was on 220 different stations, okay? That's being repeated and repeated. And then Greg Reese, his producer, just did a 15 minute piece on Antarctica that is outstanding if you haven't seen it. Um, and. InfoWars played it during their live show. That that video itself has been mirrored more times than any other Flat Earth video, I believe. Um, so it is increasing at a rate that I can't even fathom, right? Today is November 1st. I don't know what November 2nd is going to bring, let alone December or the end of the year. It's, it's, going, it's going mainstream. The problem is, what does that mean for the elite? Do they have the ability to stop it. The cat's out of the bag, it's going crazy, there's no way to get it back in, so what are they going to do to stop it? Can they do anything to stop it? Um, I, 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 right now, if you don't wake up two people or more every single day, you're part of the problem. Do you know what they might do though, David, to, um, to, to push it away, is to just cre keep creating more lies on the news and make great big news they, stories. They, they can't. Which grab people's you, attention. You can't. You can't. Because people have wisdom. People have their own senses. We've been taught not to use our senses. And uh, it, people are with all of the lies. The more time you show them a lie, the lie gets more and more convoluted. And people are starting to see the, the truth. And the truth, you know, you can bring a light into a room of darkness and the light overwhelms the room. You can't bring darkness into a light room and have it push the light away. We're on the light side. The truth is the light. <clears throat> and and uh, they can't stop it unless they stop us from communicating with each other. And, uh, you know, I don't know if they have the ability to do that. 
although they might. We'll see what November 2nd brings. Yes. But, I, I mean, I, when I speak to people, a lot of people say they don't watch the television. But, and, I, and someone else told me that, really, these companies making the adverts, they're losing money, but they still keep ramming them out, because people aren't watching the television anymore. You know, money, money, uh, money. exception. Elderly, ill, they will get the telly on. They will be plowed. Children plowed with it. Right. Right, but there's more and more people looking. Here's the, here's the thing. Flat Earth affects you internally in such a deep way that most people don't even realize it. When you discover Flat Earth, you don't put it in a closet and forget it. Right? It becomes part of you. Look at you. Look how obsessed you are with it. We're all obsessed with it because deep down inside, we know it's the truth. It's clearly the truth, and the deception is overwhelming. So every time someone goes into it, they don't go out, okay? So it's growing, and it's not diminishing. You know, when you have a, a company or something, and you're selling things, you, know, you have sales trends, but then there's people that stop buying, okay? Nobody that gets into Flat Earth, you know, 99.9% .9 of the people that get into Flat Earth don't stop Flat Earthing. They actually become obsessed with it. There's nothing that can stop people from, once they see the truth, from going back to the ball. There's no way back. Owen Benjamin said it the other day. He says there is 0% chance that the Earth is a spinning ball. And then Mark Sargent said it in his book, Flat Earth, his new book, which everyone, you got to get it. The audio version is amazing. Um, he says that once you see the flat earth, there's nothing to go back to. You can't go back even if you want to go back. And uh, that is absolutely the truth. One difference I noticed, David, is on my, on Scrambled channel, about 90% of the people are female. But on the flat earth channel, and when the other channel was there, 90% are men. So if flat earth can capture women, then that's it, it's done and dusted, for sure. Because once you get the women on board, that's what I think. You know, there's more women on board than you realize. There's more women on board than you realize. You'll see, you know, at the conference this year in, in Dallas, November 14th and 15th, um, there, uh, there's tons, there, there's going to be, a, there's a lot of women there. There's also, you know, we see the Flat Earth community, um, I'd say less than 5% of Flat Earthers are public about it. Most of them are quiet in the closet, listening quietly. So we only see the people that have big mouths like you and me, okay? <laughs> so there's more and more people getting the courage to speak out. And it's happening now, okay? It's not happening later. It's not happening in five years. It's happening now. And it's, it's, we've hit the tipping point, okay? So. It's going to tip. <clears throat> There's, you know, if I, if I get back on InfoWars or something in the studio or on Sirius Satellite, I'm actually going to reach out to my friend who's the producer on the Howard Stern Show. Um, I know that they're getting pinged with Flat Earthers. Flat, you know, people mentioning Flat Earth. They think it's the dumbest thing in the world. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hit him up this weekend and, and tell him he needs to have me on. So, you know, if I get on there, no, listen, Howard Stern is... is Childish. He's funny. He's moronic. Uh, you love him or hate him. I listened to him for years, uh, and I don't listen to him anymore. Um, but he's got a he's got 20 million people listening to him. Okay, you know, something like that is going to start a, a, a cascade that cannot stop. Okay, there's people in Hollywood, big people. We know who they are. They're talking to us. Okay, that that know the earth is flat, but they can't come out yet. They said, just keep doing what we're doing, and they're rallying together, and at the right time, they're gonna come out too, okay? Um, and it's gonna happen. You know what's gonna happen? It's gonna happen faster than the stock market can crash. You know that the yeah. market can crash literally in hours, right? It's gonna happen. You're gonna go to bed one night, you're gonna wake up in the morning, and you're gonna go, holy shit, look what happened while I was sleep sleeping, and it's gonna be unstoppable. Right? It may be ugly, probably going to be ugly. It's going to be more change than this world has ever seen anywhere ever. It's going to, you know, anywhere in, in, in recorded memory, um, there's going to be 
a change so big, so drastic, so fast that we can't even comprehend what it's going to do. It, you know, it's going to change everything, and it's going to happen overnight. Well, I can't wait, but there will be a fallout if suddenly, because obviously, who's going to believe the government's then? You know, it just bring bring oh, other. Oh, there's going to be a fallout. It'll be a, it, it'll bring <laughs> other problems, but. It's better that we know the uh, truth. It's going to bring massive, yeah, sorry to interrupt. It's going to bring massive, but you know what, I don't want to say massive problems. It's going to bring massive change. But to me, in the, in the system that we're in with these devil-worshipping elite that do unspeakable things, Demonic. any change is good. Yeah, any change is good. They're, they're, they're satanic. And not just and, that, but the people's you know, spirituality, it, because we're such a narcissistic society now, it'd be great if... People yeah. thought that the people were the most important, but at the moment everybody thinks money's the most important. Well, that's, see, th this is what they do. The only, the, here's the thing, and this is what I believe, and there's lots of evidence to it, is they need us to create the reality. The flat earth isn't the biggest secret. The flat earth is the key to their power, because if everyone discovered the earth was flat, the everyone would discover there's a creator, and then from that, everyone would start discovering that we are important, that we are very powerful beings that have given our power away. And then when people take their power back, they'll realize, hey, my thoughts and emotions do create the reality that I live in, okay? And, and then the, the thing is, they need us to create their reality. That's why they keep us in fear. You know, Kim Jong-un is going to drop a fake nuclear bomb on us. You know, they're, they're, they keep us believing that climate change is coming and we're going to run out of fuel and there's no food and there's no, you know, all of this nonsense. And then we give away our power and then our fear creates the world that they want, right? When people disconnect from that, it changes everything. Okay, that's the biggest, biggest secret. And the way, the only tool they have against us, because they can't just take things from us, they have to openly trick us into giving them away. Okay, they can't put a bear trap in the wood without a sign saying there's a bear trap. So that's why they tell us what they're doing, because it's part of natural law, or God's law. Um, so, so, where's the going my point? I had a, a good finishing point. Um, so, they, uh, God, where was I going with that? It was, well, uh, it was, it was the closing point. It was to do with the people and spirituality and um, the people were more important than the money. Yeah, well, so, yeah, this is what it is. The only tool they have against us is division. So if, if all of the world woke up to this and realized it's all nonsense, we're all together and they have zero power. But what if they divided us up into countries? And then what if they divided those countries up into regions? And then what if they divided those regions like here in the United States into states? And then what if they dis uh, dis uh, um, divided that into t counties? And then what if they t divided that into, you know, your counties into races and religions? And they divided yeah, them yeah. up into um, yeah. ethnicity. And then they divided that up into by sports teams, right? And they divided that up, you know, by uh, left and right politics. Now they've cut us into a million little pieces, and we've all lost our cohesion in the utter nonsense, okay? When we're all, this, we're all on this together, and they've divided us. Divide and separate is their only power, and to openly deceive us. So now... Um, when you see the flat earth, you can get by all of that, and, uh, and we can all come together and end this nonsense uh, faster than, Do you know faster than else uh, anyone done? can imagine. You know what I've done? I mean, my other channel's more to do with, well, I started off by looking at crimes, but I didn't realise that basically anything they're showing you is not just... Anyway, we'll leave it like that. You know what I'm going to say. It's not real. Anyway, um, the big cases, yeah. they're just... Anyway, so... Um, Basically, you live in a big town, don't you? How much crime do you see? Yeah. Zero. Yeah, they've got Zero. us there. Yeah, a couple, couple petty thefts, couple petty thefts, like a lock car. Somebody, you know, stole the change out of the, out of a car or, or something in the car. There's very, I leave my door unlocked. I leave my keys in the car. Um, and there's no, there's nothing. They, the world isn't a bad place. They just want you to think that someone's out there that wants to kill you, and that's not the case. Yeah. It's not the case at all. More stress. 
I've got, I'm uh, I've got to wrap this up in a, in a couple minutes. Any, uh, any, any... Well, I, I, like what, I like about? what you said, and I'm really pleased to have a chat with you, even if you're in your car, and he's actually reversing his car into a spot <laughs> right now. <laughs> um, yeah. And I'm really pleased that you seem really upbeat about it, because that's good, because I actually thought, oh, is it just going to be that we're at the beginning of Flat Earth, and then we're, it's not in our lifetime, it, it's going to take years and years and years, but that's not what you're saying, is it? I don't believe that at all. You know, a lot of people think it's going to, you know, people like Darren think it's going to take decades. I don't think we have decades. I think it's going to happen. Um, it's going to get to the point where people are going to know. And the question is, are they going to allow people to know? Are they going to try to screw it up? Or are, what are they going to do? You know, there's supposedly, uh, there's a lot of evidence that they've been pre-programming some ridiculous false flag in Seattle, Washington this coming Sunday. Um, but it's been exposed. The question is, did we expose it? Will they not do it? Or is it just a bunch of nonsense anyway and nothing was going to happen? Um, well, we won't know. We won't know until nothing happens on Sunday, and then we still won't know. Or maybe they're going to have some crazy, you know, 9-11 style or bigger um, event in Seattle this Sunday, and that would get people's mind off of looking into flat earth, yeah. maybe. I think, the cat, I think the cat is too far out of the bag. If nobody knows what I'm talking about, uh, go to Marty Leeds 33 YouTube channel and watch his last four-hour breakdown on what's supposed to happen on November 2nd, November 3rd. Um, it's quite compelling. And, and just pointing out, he doesn't know anything. He doesn't know anything. He's not saying something's going to happen. Um, but it's very interesting well, what they're do doing. The numbers, you know, we look at 9 Numbers. All to do with the it's numbers. beyond the numbers. The amount of... Yeah, the amount of programming. You, just, you know what? I, I didn't watch it because it was four hours until um, just recently. I was like, because I had seen all the other videos. Marty broke it down like no one else, and the numbers speak the truth. This world is run by signs, symbols, and numbers, and um, that's the hard thing to wrap your head around. But the world's, the world's crazy and amazing, and uh, we are here in the thick of it, and... Um, if you, you know, you know, uh, uh, FOMO, the, the term FOMO, fear of missing out, like little kids don't want to go to sleep because they have fear of missing out. Well, we're little kids. We all, now that we see the flat earth, we have that little childlike eyes of wonder. And uh, I'm FOMO all the time. I'm like, I don't, I sleep three hours a night sometimes if I'm lucky. I know, we're called um, the night people now. And, yeah, but that's okay. Yeah, you know we're what? the night people. Um, and there's a reason to... There's a reason to be FOMO because guess what? It's going to happen and it's going to happen overnight. It's going to happen fast and uh, it's going to be amazing. So that's all I got to say about that. Okay. And download the Flat Earth, Sun, Moon, and Zodiac Clock app. Not because I'm trying to sell apps. It's because I'm trying to spend the word. And by the way, the app costs $2.99 because it cost me a lot of money to make it and continuing to make it, um, to, to upgrade it, and the uh, annual fees. It's insane. But the money that I do make, I give to the Global I Tour. I loan to other people you know, with not knowing. I, I donate to other people. Forget the loans. Um, I've been helping a lot of flat earthers out. Um, with that, so oh, look at it. Nice. You know, it's the best. It's the it's the best three dollars you ever made spent because um, it helps wake people up to flat Earth like no, nothing else. It's it's literally the best way to wake people up to flat Earth with Google, with with Google censorship. It's uh it's crazy. You know, people are gifting the app to people for the holidays. You know, you can gift it to them on iTunes. You just you know go to the app store and you can gift it. You're competing with, don't forget, what? everybody wants this wham-bam in about 20, 30 seconds. Wham-bam. That's all their attention span is now, is you've got to get it out in 20, 30 right. seconds for them to understand it. We have a local uh, conspiracy group that meets at our town library, and I've gone to three meetings, um, and I sit there biting my lip because, you know, they believe in nuclear bombs, but, you know, talking about aliens, and uh, but they're aware of chemtrails and, and some things, and, you know, and I, I speak a little bit, and uh, they know I'm a flat earther, um, and they're like, well, we don't believe in the flat earth because, and they come up with, you know, stupid excuse number seven and two and five. And um, so I offered to make, uh, to do a presentation. They said, well, let's, uh, they're going to discuss it. They got back to me today and they said, hey, we can, uh, we can, we can let you do the December meeting. Um, can you keep it to 20 minutes? <laughs> and I said, uh, no. I said, the meeting's only two hours. I said, I need the full two hours. And, uh, you know, if you don't, if that's why you, if you can't do that, um, I'm going to 
I want to pass, but thank you. So, you know, you're right. Everybody wants it, wham, bam. Again, the app, short videos during the week. Just watch those videos and you're done. You just need some. And the other thing is, if you said, if, if somebody, uh, you're talking to somebody about Flat Earth, and they're like, well, how does, uh, how do the seasons work? And you say, let me send you a video. And you send them a video about how the seasons work. Um, the next video that pops up from YouTube is how the seasons work on a globe, right? They, they, they completely will, you know, every, and every suggested video after that will be a globe video. The app, if you send them a video from the app, the next 20 videos are from a playlist that I selected with similar videos. So it totally beats YouTube censorship and it feeds them the information that they're looking for. So all I gotta say about that. Yeah, um as Forrest Gump would say. Well, I'm really pleased about the app and I'm really pleased that you're upbeat and I suppose you can see, like you said, because you're also looking at the figures on your app, aren't you? So you know that people are, are getting the app. Yes. It's uh it's growing at uh at, you know, everything's growing. The, you know, the conference in Brazil sold out instantly, a thousand seats, you know. Um they're they're and they, they there's there's, there's so many people waking up, it's insane. You know, I posted about chemtrails for like eight years before a single one of my friends ever commented or said anything to me. And then one day at the 4th of July, the sun's setting, and all of a sudden, the blue sky, they started coming in and spraying, and people look, everyone looked over to me, they're like, hey, Dave. And they looked up because they all were secretly looking at my chemtrail posts, okay? So I post about Flat Earth, and barely anybody comments on it. Um, but they're seeing it, and and they're looking, and they're 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 not making disparaging comments anymore. And soon they're going to start asking questions. So you just have to get out there and talk to people. You need to bring it up, and there's different ways to bring it up. There, you can be very subtle about it. You can pose something as a question. You know, you know, how you know, just one of the standard questions. How how is it possible that we see? past the curve. You know, how is it possible that you know, our pressurized atmosphere doesn't get sucked off into space? You know, And uh, then you have to be, able to be ready for a response when they say gravity. But just I use the spinning tennis ball for that one. And you know what? The way I look at it, if I have close personal friends that literally can't deal with it, I don't need them as friends anymore. Sorry. I have new friends. I know. You end up leaving a lot of people behind, I have to say. But I used a spinning tennis ball. Still there? Grab yeah, can you hear me? Yeah, I, I hear was, you now. I was just saying I used the tennis um, ball for that one because, obviously, if it spins off a tennis ball, then how is it supposed to keep the oceans? You know, that's just... Yeah, no, no. Well, that, that, I mean, there's a, that, I, uh, that's interesting. But the tennis ball doesn't have gravity. I could be, give you a globe answer on that. There's, a, there's so many things that you can that you can do. But hey, I gotta run. It was lovely. Can chatting. I just ask you, have you got a plaster on the top of your head? I walked into the, the <laughs> in the middle of the night. I went, I went to pee, and it was pitch black. I got disoriented, and I walked into the corner of uh, the molding, and it split my eyebrow open, and I had blood down to my feet, and I bandaged it myself. Oh my uh, goodness! Oh, that is quite bruised. Oh, poor you. <laughs> People can't That's see right. that, but um, he does. David, it's been great. You did over half an hour, so appreciate yeah. that very much. It was good talking to you. It's been ages. All and right. um, So on Saturday, Saturday, Saturday so. it's late for you guys. It's 9 p.m. Eastern, so that's 3 a.m. for you guys. So you probably just catch the next day. But if you're up or, you know, or the, you know, people listen all over, um, I'm on a show that I can't announce yet because his audience is not Flat Earth. He has about 200,000 listeners, and he gets about 5,000 people live on his Saturday night show. So on Saturday, uh, just before the show, I'm going to put the show link in the app. It'll be the featured video in the app, and maybe 15 minutes before the show, I'll do a push notification, and so your phone will pop up and give you a link right to uh, the show so you can jump in the chat, and then people are going to be, you know, reacting like we did when we first heard Flat Earth, and you could say to them, you can answer questions, you know? Like, hey, you know, great question. You know, be nice. Remember, you were once them, and uh, we'll try to help them out the best we can. I think the saddest part is that we they turn around at these people and they think that we're crazy, but we're trying to tell them the truth. 
well, it's funny, yeah, we're crazy, but, you know, we always, I said that to them, Flat Earth is crazy, you're nuts, I'm not even going to look, you're, you're an idiot, and now it's like, wow, it, it's, it's so the opposite, there's no proof of Flat Earth, well, no, there's no proof of Ball Earth, the Ball Earth, there's a million proofs, no, there's zero proofs of, of the Ball Earth, and there's a million proofs of Flat Earth, you know, uh, you guys don't know science, well, no, we do know science, you know, we looked into it, the science, and you are, you're, Helio nonsensical model is a cult religion um, that stops you from seeing outside the cult. It's literally a cult. I know, and that's the sad bit. If only the people knew. They don't know, they don't know. Yeah. They but don't anyway. know that they don't know, and they, and they think they know. And, yeah. they, and, you know, the people that fight the flat earth the hardest know the least amount it, and they know even less about the ball, as I said earlier. It is a bit sad, isn't it, as people, though, when we've decided to be these globe people, that actually all we're doing is watching the television. We don't go and look it up ourselves. We don't do our own research. And then when you start to do your own research, yep. you realise it doesn't add up. Yep. Hey, by the way, if anyone wants to get the app um, and share it with friends, um, when you, if you just search in the Google Play Store or the Apple Store, Flat Earth Sun, it should come right up, but it's the Flat Earth Sun, Moon, and Zodiac Clock app. Um, there are a bunch of crappy ones there. There's free ones. Red's Rhetoric and Wolfie made one together, I believe, um, that that literally stole my exact name, but I, I got them to change it. I, I you know, I had, I had they were forced to change it, but it's a piece of crap app, and they tried. They're trying to stop people from getting the right app. So it's the one that's 2.99 with a rating of 4.8 and 4.9 out of five, and that's just because. Um, they, I got a bunch of ones from uh, some globe zealots. So, you know, 4.8, 4.9, and both those app stores is almost unobtainable on any app. So, I have a, it's the highest rated, um, you know, that most apps can get. Congratulations! I'm really glad for you, and um, thank you so much. Thanks. So, so basically, if everybody wants to see what you're doing on Saturday, go to the app. Have the app. Make sure you have notifications on. I know a lot of people hate getting notifications. Like you just automatically say no. But if you're a flat earther and you have the app, of course you want the notification. I say one notification a day. You can set it up in settings to be silent. You can set it up to make a bing. You can set it up any way you want. Um, and just a little push notification will show up on your home screen. It says, hey, uh, today's video is uh, Paul on the Plains uh, Faking Space series. Or today's video is... You know, whatever, whatever it is. So it'll be, um, you know, DITRH going live on XYZ show uh, in 10 minutes. That'll be the notification. So everybody, so, um, watch this space. Watch Dave's yeah, app and good. space. Yeah, let's get as many. Because he already said to me, I'm gonna, the show is only two hours. He goes, I know I'm going to need you back already, right? This is a guy that uh, two weeks, three weeks ago thought Flat Earth was the dumbest thing in the world. He has a great show, um, and he's willing to alienate his 200,000 subs because he knows the truth is the truth. Um, he's dug in deep, and uh, he's already going to have me back on. But especially if we can get, you know, a couple thousand Flat Earthers in there, politely just you know get the numbers up on the live stream uh all you know post relevant comments um and uh answer you know the people throwing out the ridiculous flat earth 101 questions what about circumnavigation you know well, what about seasons well you know just this dumb stuff by the way i'm not that smart i like talking to globers because they only have to answer the dumb questions Right? It's like when you're talking to other research flat earthers that come up with the, the tough questions, you know, those are tougher to answer, but in reality, there's really nothing. I think you just hit answer. it on the head there, David, because everybody thinks they're intelligent, well educated, and informed, and you've just told them that they're not. Yeah. So they're going to argue, aren't they? I, 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 I think, you know what? I've done more research in the last five years on this than any other topic that I've done in my entire life. So uh, where's my degree? Well, you know what? I got a five-year degree in Flat Earth. I think it's a Flat Earth master. <laughs> yeah, yeah I know. Okay. Like mini scientists now. Yeah. 
you know, the scientists have it. You know, the, the, the college degrees and uh, the, you know, the advanced college degrees, they're degrees in memorization and regurgitation. Wow, you memorized what's in this Rockefeller Supply textbook Theories. and you regurgitated it perfectly. Theories. I'm going to give you a master's degree, yeah. Theirs yeah. is all theories, and they're just reciting theories. Theory. It's nonsense, right? Whereas on flat Earth, you can actually prove nonsense. some of the stuff, can't you? Yes. We can. It's, it's, <laughs> it, we don't have all the answers, but the globe has zero answers. Zero. Hey, so we're spinning I, in three uh, different directions, Mac 80. Yeah, right, okay. Right. I, I, I saved for some of the comments that you know, people make on my videos. You know, they're, they're, they, instead of saying, this is dumb because of this, they go, this is dumb because you're an idiot. You know, they don't, they don't back up anything they say. They just have ad homonyms and nonsense. They have zero, and I just say, you know what? Uh, you think flat earth is stupid? Just give me one globe proof and I'll come back to the globe. Just one. I've been saying that for five years. I got zero. <laughs> give me one globe proof. You can't, can you, with water finding, you can't, water finds its level, you can't, you can't go back to a ball. Well, level's curved, level's curved. Um, so, that's it, everybody, um, peace, I gotta go. Oh, it's been really great, thank you so much, David, thanks a lot, and, um, yeah, uh, good luck on Saturday. Right, I, I hope... Thanks, I'll, I hope to see everybody there, thanks. Thank you, darling. When are you, when are you airing this? Um, is this going up today? Probably tomorrow now. All right, before but like, before, before you, before out, you, be, be so that, that'd be, that'd be good. you're going to be doing it at 9 o'clock. Right. We're six hours behind awesome. you. So that would be 3 o'clock in the morning. So I'll yeah, get it up for about 9 o'clock. You're six hours ahead of me. Sorry, no, you're six hours behind Karen, you're me. you're six hours ahead of me. No, you're six hours behind right. me. But what I'll do is I'll get the video up. About nine o'clock our time, which is three o'clock your time, which gives it'll be fresh in people's minds, won't it? Okay, thank you. Is that okay? Yeah, that's good. Hey, big hugs, David. Mwah. All right, see you, Karen. Bye bye. Thank you very much. Thank you, darling. Hey, he's gone now, but that was very nice of him to join us on his car journey back from a meeting so that he could tell us about his radio show on Saturday. So everybody who's got the app or get the app, uh, please go and, um, yeah, watch that space about 15 minutes before 9pm his time. I think he's, um, what do you call it, he's six hours behind, five, six hours behind the UK. Anyway, big hugs, my darlings. Thanks for watching.